Hey everybody, this is Steve. Uh, one last message uh, to share with everybody um, before the semester closes up because the end is near. We're gonna, I'll get to that in a second. Um, I just wanted to mention uh, a couple of quick things. Uh, the first thing is, is that I'm in the process right now of commenting both on your final social media reflections and also trying to give you some feedback on the usability and usability project and uh, the 444 portfolio. So. Um, I'm taking a, I'm literally taking a break after having gone through um, and commented on half or so of the usability stuff so far and I've commented about half or so of the uh, social media the final social media essay reflection um, I have some this is Thursday at about 1030 and I have some other stuff I have to do here in a little bit but my hope knock on whatever my desk is made out of um, that uh, I'll be done commenting on everybody's website stuff. Um, by this time tomorrow morning at the latest, hopefully earlier than that, we'll see what happens. I think I'm going to finish that before I finish commenting on the uh, social media reflection since the social media reflection is kind of a done deal. So look on the website for um, my comments um, just to help you sort of think about revising in relationship to what everybody else has done. Um, I'll mention uh, one general thing about the social media exercises so far, uh, the reflections on it. I think that this project has gone pretty well, pretty much for everybody this semester. And so I'm, when I'm assigning grades to that, I'm looking at it as the whole enterprise, not just the final essay, but also the reflections that you've had. Uh, that said, I am more interested in the essays that um, do take a moment to take kind of a 50,000 foot view. That is, the, the essays that sort of reflect in sort of broader terms about what does social media, what has this experience made me think about in terms of, or rethink about in terms of uh, what the big picture of social media means, right? So um, not just I did Pinterest and this was interesting and I did Facebook and that was interesting and I did Twitter and that was interesting, but how the whole thing kind of fits together, the whole uh, ecology uh, of the, what the media is about. So those are, the, those are the essays I find more interesting, but again, I, I think that everybody has done a pretty good job on that. In terms of the usability, the website projects and things like that, one comment that I'll mention that um, it's not a deal breaker by any stretch of the imagination, but I would encourage just about everybody to do, which is you probably need to have some sort of way of quote unquote citing your sources, and that includes images. So I'm totally okay with you taking images, borrowing images from other places and stuff, but I think that there should you should do something to give those people credit, right? Because if you cre if you created an image on the web and somebody just took it, you probably wouldn't be thrilled about that either. So you can include this in a works cited page. You can include links to it. You can include it in the image itself. Like um, you can put like a little um, minor little um, footnotes with the image. You can even, if you want, depending on the image that you include, make it so that it's a clickable image so that your reader can actually click on the image and then it takes them to the website where that image originally came from. Okay. Um, there's some really interesting examples of these of these projects, by the way. So I don't want to say that that's that's my only minor pet peeve critique. Uh, generally, I think um, some of these are a little bit more drafty than others, but you know that. But that's fine. But what I'm saying is that what I've also seen some of these uh, examples that have been really spot on, and some also really spot on examples of the portfolio too. So. Um, it's all coming together pretty good. Now, let me just sort of like um, mention the schedule here where we're at. So we're finishing up the peer review stuff this week. If you have any other comments about peer review, this is a good time to give them, okay? Technically, the last day of classes is December 13th. That's uh, next Tuesday, this coming Tuesday. And so that's when um, all the sort of discussion and things like that for the class will um, wrap up. So if you look at for it says week 15 in terms of what you need to do, first off, sometime between now and about Tuesday of December 13th, send me an email about how you think you did for participation for the second part of the semester. Very similar to what we did for the second, the first part of the semester. Um, just send me that email, okay? The second thing is, is that make sure that your 444 portfolio is all wrapped up and nice in the way that you want it to be. Okay. The third thing is, is to remember that you have to finish up the final version of the usability, the second part of the usability text to hypertext project. That's exactly what we're talking about right now. Okay. Make sure that those that, that that's all wrapped up too. Okay. Now, uh, this is all due on Tuesday, December thirteenth. Um, 
I'm a little bit late on giving you feedback, so here's the deal I will make with you. If you need a little bit more time, um, particularly on the usability, uh, the, the website that you're working on right now, or even on some changes that you want to make with a 444 portfolio, if you need a little bit more time on that, let me know. Send me an email and say, hey, can I have a few more days on that? And I can, I can make that happen. Uh, conversely, if you get to December 13th and you're like, I'm done, I've got everything finished, um, then let me know that too, okay? Because if you let me know ahead of time that you're completely done, then that what I'll do is I'll actually start thinking about in terms of calculating the final grade for the class. And if you let me know ahead of time that you need a couple more days, then I'll give you a couple more days before I finish that, okay? Now, technically, the end of time for the class is December 20th at 2 p.m. Uh, Michigan time. If you finish up the last remaining projects before then and you say, I'm completely done, you may now assign me a final grade, I will do that. And I would just as soon do that because the sooner I can assign a final grade, the sooner I'm done with the class, the sooner you're done with the class. Okay. Um, however, you absolutely positively have to be done no later than December 20th at 2 p.m. Michigan time. That is the end of time for the entire semester for everything. Okay. Just to sort of illustrate what I mean by this, um, and I do this every semester, so for some of you who have had classes with me either online or before, you're not going to be surprised. For those of you who haven't, you might be. Um, at 2 p.m. on December 20th, Michigan time, everything is fine. Birds are singing, although it's kind of wintery out, so maybe not. There's a little bit of snow coming down. Um, we're getting ready to go someplace warm for winter break, probably not, but you get the idea. Okay. Um, however, at 2.01 on December 20th, time ceases to exist or something to a void, a black hole, a nothingness. <laughs> See, I told you, it was scary. Okay, so what do I mean? What I mean is, is that the absolute positively last deadline for turning stuff in has to be December 20th at 2 p.m. I don't think it's going to be a problem for this class because, like I said, I think most people are going to be done with things well before that. Um, there's really, if you've got everything together, there's no reason why you can't be done by the end of the day on December 13th. However, if there's anything kind of like out there in terms of some sort of deal that you and I maybe have made about, re about a revision or you just you need a little bit more time to finish the website or whatever, it's got to be in by the end of time thing. If you were to come to me... On December 20th, or just come to you, like, you know, next week rather, and say, hey, is there any way that I can turn something in on December 21st? My response would be, what do you mean? There is no December 21st. Okay, so that's, we've, you know, so don't make sure that you get everything in. No later than December 20th at 2 p.m., probably earlier than that. Okay, I think that's it. I've really enjoyed this semester's uh, group, um, this, this group and also the other class that I've taught. Uh, it's been a really stressful semester um, for me and I think for just about every student I've had. Um, a lot of crazy stuff going on on campus, uh, a lot of crazy stuff going on in the country. Um, you know, it's just, it's just been, it's been a hard semester, um, but I think that we've all made it through it and I want to congratulate you for that. I want to congratulate myself for that too. Um, for those of you who are going on to, um, you're, you're graduating from EMU or you're done with the writing program or whatever, um, good luck. Keep in touch. Uh, let us know about your successes. And for those of you who will be uh, in, around in winter, either in, I'm teaching an online class, a version of 328 in the winter. I'm also teaching a face-to-face -face class, uh, Critical Digital Literacies, which some of you, the undergraduates, might find really interesting. Um, and of course, I'll be around um, doing other things too. So um, for those of you who are still going to be here, I'll see you in the winter. Otherwise, uh, have a happy holiday break. And as always, I'll see you online.